Welcome to Morai FC. Morai FC, it is what it is. Nothing is hidden, nothing is hiding. You know, this is a simple way. A simple way how to count, uh, how to catch a princess Amho that or Amho princess that. You can call it a princess Amho that or Amho princess that. Whatever you want to call it, it's the same way. You know, it is what it is. This is a simple way, a very simple way, much details, everything is being explained. You know, details to details. So if you want to learn how to cut this princess Amho that or Amho princess that simple way, you just have to stay tuned and learn how to cut this one. It's easy steps to take. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Click on the notification bell. So anytime I post a new video, you'll be updated. This is just a simple way. It's simple, much detail, much explain. So what are you waiting for? Click on the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. It's my channel. It's your channel. It's our channel. It's everybody's channel. It's Mora FC. It is what it is. So let's get started. I've already drawn my first and my three lines. If you want to learn how to draw a basic body pattern just have to check out my other videos you're going to teach you everything about how to draw a basic body pattern i've already drawn my my i placed my boss lines my under boss lines and my waist lines i've already drawn about that this is just a half measurement so i've already drawn my shoulder slope this is my shoulder slope that's a shoulder slope so from that top i measure 10 inches that is from my top to the bus or the bus point that's it, that's 10 inches. And from that point, I measure from the shoulder to, to the underboss that is under your boob. You know, that one is also 13 inches. And my, that is another line. From that to I measure from the shoulder to your waistline, that was also is a 17. I drew a line there. So that's basically that's the three lines that you need. So I came to my shoulder slope. You know how I get to my shoulder slope? I measure a one inch, as you can see. Then I draw my shoulder slope. Now before that, I measure a three inch. You can see it's three inch. It is what it is. So you're gonna measure your shoulder. You divide your shoulder into two, then you add your sewing allowances. Whatever you get your shoulder measurement, just divide into two and add your shoulder allowances. So I just came down still using my shoulder slope. No, sorry, my shoulder measurement. So from that point, I measure eight and eight, eight inches. You know, from that point, I measure eight inches. So I draw a sharp line. It's just a short line from that point. So I'm working on this. This part is the armhole. So I'm working with the armhole. So I'll come to the measurement of your nipple to nipple measurement. You have to measure your nipple to nipple measurement. You know, as for me as a guy, I can measure your nipple to nipple measurement. So what I do is that your boss, whatever you get divided by 10, that will give you the measurement of your nipple to nipple measurement. So if you just say your nipple to nipple measurement is 8 inches, you just have to divide into 2. That will give you 4. So I'm using 8 inches. Like I'm marking 4 inches right there. So from your bust line straight up to your waistline, you measure 4, 4, 4. Then you draw a straight line there. As you can see, it is what it is. Nothing is hidden. Nothing is hiding. Hey. Why you such, why are you waiting for? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. So from your boss line, I came upward by one inch. So I'm going back to my waistline and my armhole. I divided into two. That will give me four. Capiche? Yeah. So I'll go inward by a half inch. Just like that. Then I draw a curve. If you have a French curve, you can use it to draw. But if you cannot draw it like this, you just have to make a dot, 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 dot. Then you connect the dot together and make a curve. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. You understand? <laughs> So that one I divide into two. 
From that, that point, I measure one inch upward, then I measure one inch below, downward. So, I'm going to connect these two, the boss point, the apex, just like that. You connect it to that point. You draw your curve. If you have a French curve, just use it. If you don't have a French curve, just make a dot and you connect together. And I also came at that point, I came upward by a half inch and half inch. So that one goes to the one below. You have you can make a dotted point like that. After that, then you connect it together. Just like that. Go to the top side, you do it the same way. Then you connect together. It's more IFC, it is what it is. This is a Hamho Princess that or Princess Hamho that. So we connect, we connect them all together to the boss point. So remember from this point is two inches, just have to add it up to that place. Because when we are joining it, we don't have, so that we there won't be shortage, to understand, there won't be a shortage to join it like that. That two inch just added up. So we go straight away to your waistline. You measure one and a half or two or two and a half or 2.5. It's up to you. You know, it depends on the boobs that you have. It depends on the boobs that you have. So I drew up from the waist. I came to the waist and I came out to underboss also again to draw this straight line. From from this, you need to make a curve inward to understand. Don't make a straight curve because that place is not a straight curve. So you can see as I'm making a dotted. Then you draw your curve. Just like that, you can see how the curve has just come. It is what it is. So now we have to insert our measurement, our measurement, your chest measurement, or your boss measurement. You divide it into two, you divide into four, whatever you get. Your measurement, you divide into four, whatever you get. Then you add your sewing allowance, one inch or one and a half or two inches. Now we have to connect this one. Because that is the curve that we're going to use now because we added two inches to that. So this line will go off. You don't need this line. Good. You get it? Capiche? We're moving on. So still we want to insert our, me our measurement to it. You measure your boss or your chest measurement. You divide it into four. You add your sewing allowances. And now I'm, I'm on my underboss. Underboss. You measure your underboss. You divide it by four. Remember, we have one and a half inch there. That we're gonna chop it off, so you just have to add that one inch, one and a half inch to it before adding your sewing allowance to it. So when you divide it into four, whatever you get, you mark it, then you add this half one and a half inch there. It can be two, it's up to you how your boss is. Then after that, you add your sewing allowance to it. You're gonna do the same thing to the waist side. You measure your waist measurement, you divide it into four, whatever you get, then you just have to add the one and a half inch that we deducted to it before adding your sewing allowance to it, another one and a half or two inches or two and a half or one and a half inches, depending how you want it. Then you draw your line. It's more IFC, it is what it is. Nothing is hidden, nothing is hiding. I give it all to you. So subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It's my channel, it's your channel. 
is everybody channel is our channel more ifc is for us so keep supporting so the neck i came down by three inch you can make it three and a half or four inch so i'm just using four inch you can prefer not to cut the neck you know just can leave it there when you finish sewing everything then you just cut your neck you know? so we're gonna cut everything up just look the way i'm cutting the pattern I don't want to go, I don't want to edit this part so that you don't know how to cut it out. Voila, you can see we're done. We're done cutting it. You can see how beautiful it has turned out. Yup, that's the front one. It's left with the back, how to cut the back. So still stay tuned. I'll be right back. Yeah, welcome to more IFC. I will appreciate I know maybe you are, I know you're enjoying the I hope you are enjoying the tutorial. The princess I'm whole that or I'm whole princess that. I hope you are enjoying it. Yeah, you know, big ups to everybody, you know, keep subscribing, keep on liking, keep on sharing, and hope you're enjoying the tutorial so far. So without wasting much time, yeah, this is your man, this is your man, you know, Mora FC. It is what it is. So let's get back to the tutorial, you know what it is, you know, without missing, no, my missing. So we're back again, working at the back. I left one and half. That will that's the zip allowance, you know, where you're gonna fix our zip. You need to give a zip allowance, so I give that place one and half. You can make it one inch if you want. So from my neck there, from that point I measure three inch. Remember, we have to get the same measurement from the front. You don't have to make different measurements. So still going to the same process. So the shoulder, you divide into two, like I said, whatever you get, you gotta add your sewing allowance to it. From that point, I measure eight inch. I'm trying to go fast from that because everything was explained in the previous video cutting on the front side. So I'm just like going over again on the hammer side. But on this one, when you're working on this one, you don't have to divide it into four, you know, and curve, you know, whatever, no. Just have to 
go a long way. So from that point, I measure up to my nipple measurement to my bust, 10 inch. That is when I'm gonna draw a straight line there. That is the holy line that I'm gonna use. And using my waist line as well. From there, I don't need my under bust. I just need my waist measurement. So I just go straight up to the waist, from the shoulder to your waist line. Then I drew up my straight line there. From the there to what we're gonna use now is from your nipple to nipple measurement. You're gonna use your nipple nipple to measurement. Your apex to apex measurement. You just have to use it whatever you get, you divide into two. You divide into two, whatever you get. You are still using the four inch as we used in the previous cut in the front one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment it, and click on the notification bell. So I drew a straight line to the waist, but I'm going to give half inch on both sides. So you can see. After making our point, I just go in half inch here, half inch there. So. On the zip side, on the zip side, you're going to divide into two. When you divide into two, you have to come up by one inch. You don't want no bumping at the back when you're fixing your zip. You don't want no bumping at the back. So I just have to come in by a half inch from that part. So I'm going to join from that point to that point. Understand? So we're gonna measure one and a half again from the zip side. Remember, I was using one and a half, so we just have to measure one and a half again from that side. So we draw a straight line again because you don't want no bumping. Sometimes you can fix a zip, and you're gonna see some people they are zip like <laughs> it's like a zigzag, <laughs> you know, like a train, a zigzag road, you know. So that line is not needed no more. We don't want that zigzag zip fixing. So we trim, we make sure we clear that one off. So from that, we still have to insert your measurement. Like previously, your chest, you divide it into four. Whatever you add, you add your sewing allowance to it. You come to your shoulder. No, sorry, not your shoulder, your waistline. You know, after measuring your nipple to nipple measurement, you may ask four. We go in by a half inch, we go in add out also and a half inch. That's why we do that line. So when you're adding your sewing allowance, you're supposed to add that one inch inch there. The prime that we form, that's one inch there. So we just have to add up to it. Just have to draw your curve. If you have a French curve, just use it. The back neck, I came in by half, by one inch. Then I just draw my straight line. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. It is what it is. More IFC. Give me a thumbs up. Click on notification bell so anytime I post a new video, you'll be updated. Nothing is hidden, nothing is hiding. It's really is what it is. More IFC. <laughs> so, thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. You need to fold it like that, fold it back like this and cut off. When you fold like that, you just have to mark it again. But to me, I know how to cut it straight away. You can see. So when you cut that part off, you can see the curve is there. Yeah, that one will help us. No, no zigzags. Zip fixing.
so we're done thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you are not subscribed yes i don't know what you were do for hit on the subscribing hit on everything it is what it is nothing is hidden nothing is hard i've given it out to you this is the princess i'm hold that or i'm whole princess that giving all to you yeah i'm out